This is David, WA9ONY. We're going to take a look at looking at a 10 meter CW beacon. On the right hand side of the screen, I have a bash script that's set up using RTL underscore FM as its key part. I've set up the script with lots of parameters here to make it easier to understand how to use RTL underscore FM. They also will echo on the screen. The key command is sitting here at the bottom of the screen. There is a timeout that's commented out. I use that for uh, recording when I'm away from the system. RTL FM basically takes a look at the modulation will be uh, upper sideband. Next is the frequency parameter which is 28 megahertz, 0.297. We'll look at the sample rate. Sample rate is 22.050. The gain, the gain is 25.4. Turned off the squelch by setting it to zero. Minus capital F, zero provides uh, improved sound quality sometimes. And then we have the pipe symbol. That pipe symbol will go into a T. The T basically splits out and sends the data to play, which I will hear on my speakers. And then the other part will be to SOX, which will then uh, save it as a file. The file name is created from today's date with some additional information about the frequency, the gain, the audio frequency uh, gain, uh, and the squelch. So all that is automatically created as part of the file name here. So let's go ahead and launch that. We'll go to our command line interface. We use basically the history command to scroll back up. You know, use the control C to stop that. Now one of the neat things about this is that we can use SOX to take a look at the audio spectrum. We've got two here. Notice that in the script I also have a high pass and low pass filter which uh, SOX. So we uh, set up the recording. We are uh, Basically, the low pass filter is set at 20 hertz, and the high pass filter was at 10 kilohertz. We can uh, see here that the frequency is about 1.5 kilohertz. So, what we're going to do is we're going to change these, and we're going to set them to 1500. Zero, zero. And this will be the same, 1500. Zero, zero. A little clean up here in the text. Okay, the high pass and low pass filter is the same. Now, filters are not exact, so they basically will have some skirts, but this will provide uh, one way to provide a narrow filter. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Then we go back here, we go back through the history command, and we're going to relaunch it. It's most noticeable that the high frequency noise is much reduced.
All right, now let's go back up here. That's our spectrum where the low pass filter was 20 hertz, high pass filter was 10 kilohertz. Now we'll go take a look at the spectrum and we'll move this over here so we can see both of them at the same time. Let's uh, adjust the window here to there. We get to see everything. The important thing is that here on the side is the intensity. The intensity is by color. So in other words, here in this bright yellow, that means a very strong signal. And this is a dB full scale. So that's our signal. That is the strongest signal out there. And then what we have is background static that's in this red here. And we can see it goes all the way down almost basically to DC. And it goes all the way up to uh, 10 kilohertz before the uh, uh, 10 kilohertz um, low-pass filter rolls that off. On the other side, we set the low-pass filter and the high-pass filter to be 1500 or 1 1.5 kilohertz. That would be the frequency of our signal. Notice the signal is still yellow. It's not as bright because the filter will decrease it slightly. But notice that uh, we're in the blue here, and when we're in the blue here. So what we've done is we've knocked down all this noise here so that we can hear the signal more clearly. And this is the essence of digital signal processing. And we can show that using SOX. And by the way, this is a SOC command that generates a spectrum. So if we go back in the history here, here is that SOX command, it's SOX, the input dot WAV, a wave file, dash N, indicating I'm doing a spectrogram, dash O, the output file name, which will be a PNG, dash T is the title, and uh, comma, I mean up quote, is the start of the title with the documentation and then the message that's decoded. And by the way, we can see that this is a K, that's a dash, dot, dash, a seven, dash, dash, three dots, and so forth. And then basically, that is the command that generates the, the spectrum. So SOX is not only used as part of our decode, in other words, if we go back to here, the play, is part of a SOC uh, command line, but SOC here is um, used to uh, save the audio file that is used in this um, creating the spectrogram. This is David, WA9 ONY 73 in QRT.